Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. Today I'm talking about how would you find the yardage, square yardage that you would need to carpet a room or something else. Um, so the dimensions are given in this particular problem as 20 feet 3 inches by 15 feet 5 inches. Um, the manufacturer advises you to expect 12% waste on your project. And what that means is that there's going to be some carpet as you go to carpet this room that you're not going to be able to use. In fact, they say as much as 12% that you're going to have to throw away. Could be that it has a particular pattern on it or something. So you're going to end up wasting some of your uh, product. And you can't buy part of a square yard from them. So those are all the restrictions that we have on our problem. There's like four or five steps here to finish this. One, convert the units to either feet or inches, but not both. You could take 20 times 12 and figure out how many inches that is, and then add three more inches and convert that all into inches. Then you would say 15 times 12 and then add five inches, and you could then work this problem in inches instead of feet. I have decided to go the other way and work with feet. So for my project, I'm going to say I'm going to take those three inches and divide by 12 because there are 12 inches in every foot. And that gives me 0.25 feet. So we have 20.25 feet instead of 20 and 3 inches. Then for 15 feet, 5 inches, I'm going to take that 5 and divide by 12. And here is where I get an imprecise number. So if you want to be really exact, leave your answer in fraction form. But for the problem that I'm giving my students, if you get close, it'll probably be okay. So you have a 0.41666 repeating forever. So I'm going to round it up to 0.417, just so I don't have a rounding error at the end. But I could very well have rounded that to 0.4 two because I have two de decimal places up here. This is what I'm going to decide. I have 15.417 feet. Now I have these both in feet and I want to find the area in square feet and all I do to get that is to multiply the length times the width and that gives me something that I rounded to three decimal places since I was working with three decimal places there and now it's square feet because it's a two-dimensional area so it's to a second power. Now I need to convert square feet into square yards, and this is where people make a mistake a lot of times, but when you think about one yard, this is one yard on this side and one yard on that side, that means there's three feet on one side and three feet on the other side. And if you were to cut that up in a three by three, you could see that there would be nine different boxes in there. That tells us that one square yard has nine square feet in it. So to make that conversion, I would take my area that I found in the last part, and I would times that by this dimensional analysis of one square yard is equal to nine square feet. That means this is really one. I'm multiplying by one, but it looks different on the top and bottom so that my feet cancel, leaving yards behind. And so I would take 312.194 and divide by nine, essentially, to get my square yardage. I'm not finished because they told us that we had to add a 12% waste factor. So I would take what I have and I would add another 12% on that, 12% of this total amount. And that gives me 38.851 yards squared. But still, according to the directions, we cannot buy part of a yard. So even if this was 38.1, I would still go up to 39 because 38 wouldn't be quite enough. Okay, so I would have to say then I'm going to go out and buy 39 square yards of this carpet to complete that room. All right, that's it. Have a fantastic day.